Once again, I have teamed up with several YouTube chefs to bring you a playlist called Ultimate Pies. So be sure to check the info box below for all those yummy links. But right now, y'all, I'm going to kick things off on DWS and Cook by showing you how to make this chocolate pecan pie. Let's go. We're going to start by adding our light corn syrup into a large bowl, followed by our dark corn syrup. And don't forget you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog, dwestoncook.com, with a ton of other great recipes, so go on over and check that out. Okay, now I'm going to add in my white sugar, just sprinkle that right on in there. Then we're going to add in some packed um, brown sugar. Okay, I'm just going to stir that up. I'm making this pecan pie for my husband because I'm such a good wife and I broke his iPhone, so hopefully this will help. All right, now I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. That's a Mexican blend vanilla. I really like that vanilla. It's awesome. I have some melted butter here. I'm going to add in a little bit of flour and stir that on up. Okay, just like that. And now I'm just going to pour this right into our mixture, into the bowl. Use my spatula to get it nice and combined. And this tastes like caramel. It's so good. Now we're going to add in our chocolate. This is regular unsweetened um, cocoa powder. Sprinkle that right on in and stir it up. I love a one bowl recipe, don't you? I love it, so easy. And go ahead and taste it, it tastes divine. If you guys are enjoying this recipe so far, please be sure to like this video, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, that makes me happy. Okay, I have my eggs here. I'm gonna beat them just into their uniform in color, not too much, just into their nice uniform color. Then go ahead and pour that right into that bowl, just like that. And now just stir it up and get that incorporated. And this pecan pie is very similar to the one I have on my blog already, but it was so good. I thought it really deserved its own video. Okay, now I'm going to toast my pecans. I'm just going to sprinkle them on a baking pan lined with parchment paper and spread out into an even layer. I'm going to pop these into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350. I'm going to toast these for about five minutes or you, until you can smell them. You want to burn them though, so be careful not to burn them. The pie crust I'm using is my recipe for a buttery pie crust. I have that video. Maybe I'll put like an annotation where you can click and watch that video. Okay, so go ahead and pour this into your pie crust. It's really yummy. Make sure you make the pie crust, okay? Because the pie crust is just, mm, it just does something to it. It's so good and buttery and flaky. All right, now we're going to sprinkle on those toasted pecans. Do you say pecans or pecans? I say pecans. All right, I'm going to cover the top in these pecans, and I am using the pecan bits. I'm going to tell you something. I cannot eat a pecan pie that has whole pecans on top. I don't know why. It reminds me of, like, bugs or something. It just makes my skin crawl. I can't do it. Mm -mm, can't. Okay, now I'm going to bake this for about 45 minutes. My oven is at 350. Um, it may puff up while it's baking. Don't worry about it. You did great. It just happens sometimes, okay? When it comes out the oven, let it cool. The center will be a little jiggly, but it will firm up as it sets. So just let it set until it cools. You can put it in the fridge if you like. And then just slice into it. I probably could let this set a little bit longer. It was all gooey and stuff, but it was still very, very divine. And that is it, you guys. Homemade chocolate pecan pie. That is so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. You can get it on my blog, dwithsomecooks.com. And don't forget to check out those other great ultimate pies on my playlist. Bye, guys.